What's up, guys? Classy Metal here. It's been a minute. Uh, it, it, it's only been about a month, but for me, it feels like it has been much longer than that. Uh, I just want to express a thank you to, to those of you that checked in on me and uh, sent some words of encouragement and, and all of that type stuff. I do appreciate it. I also appreciate those of you that just uh, gave me my space and kind of respected my privacy and and I, I appreciate all of you guys. I, I know people have their reasons uh, for doing things. And I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do appreciate all of you. It's only been about a month. It, it has felt like longer than that to me personally. Uh, I am definitely in a much better place uh, physically, uh, mentally, emotionally than I was a month ago. And it's March. So I figured March is metal month. It is a perfect time to get back in the swing of things. Uh, you might be saying, uh, well, Lonnie, every month is metal month. And if you're watching this video, then you're probably uh, like me in the sense that every month is metal month. But March is metal month is kind of a month long spotlight on heavy metal, something that I've followed and done uh, long before I was even doing this channel. It's just a, a kind of a, to put metal in the forefront, focus on that, and, and just spend a month kind of celebrating that. How I'm planning on doing that with this channel, how it relates to this channel is, uh, yes, I'm back making videos. Uh, I have a lot of stuff planned that I want to knock out this month. I, I want to just kind of celebrate the whole month long. That doesn't mean that there's going to be videos every single day. You don't have to worry about that. But I, I can put a few spoilers out there. I have a big collection update that I'm going to show you guys today. I have a couple other very large collection updates that I will be showing uh, this month as well. I have a couple grab bags that I'm going to be showing. I have a metalhead box two for video that is going to be coming up in the near future. I have some surprises that I'm not going to uh, just tell you guys about now. I'm going to be popping up in some places that you haven't seen me in a while. So uh, that may excite some of you guys as well. Uh, I, I just plan on focusing on, on this channel and heavy metal this month and, and kind of getting back in the swing of things. So bear with me. Anytime that I take a little break from doing these videos, the first few are a little bit rusty. It, it takes me a minute to get kind of get back in the hang of things. I am also going to two concerts this month that I know of. I'm going to see some Slam uh, this weekend, actually. This this Sunday, I'm heading to Memphis to, to watch some Slam bands. And then the following week, I'm going to see Crow Mags and... Um, Ringworm and some other bands play in Memphis as well. So I, I am looking forward to those. They're the only two on the books for the month as of right now, but that, that is always subject to change. And I'm sure I'll pick up some stuff at those shows and I'll be doing some, some other collection updates. And I, as I said, I have some other surprises that I'm going to be showing you guys along the way. With it being the kickoff of March's Metal Month, I figured I might as well take you guys to hell. And I by hell, I mean Hell's Headbangers. I did a very sizable order on uh, Hell's Headbangers earlier in February. It was kind of a birthday, I, a little bit of an early birthday present to myself. My birthday did come and go while I was taking my little hiatus from the channel. I will have a short up uh, at some time in the future showing you guys the birthday cake. I know some of you saw it in the picture in the community tab. My wife had this awesome typo negative birthday cake made for me and, and, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna try to get like a shorts uh, video or something up of that before I did take some videos and pictures uh, before we actually ate the cake. So I'm four minutes in. I guess I need to quit rambling because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. I picked up a ton of CDs, three shirts and an LP on this Hell's Headbangers order. I'll show the LP first because it is the biggest thing and that way I can kind of get it out of the way. I picked up, I mean, with all the drama, it, 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 there was some drama involving uh, Hell's Headbangers, not so much Hell's Headbangers, just one of the, the employees there that also has a, uh, a YouTube channel and another YouTuber over the band Sadistic Intent. So I'm not going to get into that drama. It's not, I mean, I'm in a good place mentally. That's not something that I, that I want to harp on uh, for the time being is any time type of drama. But the band uh, Sadistic Intent was kind of focused, a focal point of that, of that, uh, that whole drama that went down. 
And so at this point, if you order anything from Hell's Headbangers, I feel like you're kind of inclined to pick up some uh, some sadistic intent material, just grimy, dirty death metal, 90s old school death metal. I picked up this bootleg, uh, sadistic intent with um, Pray for Death and Hope It Comes. This is a live recording that was recorded back in 2004 in Tijuana, Mexico. Bang, bang. This is very campy sounding. Uh, if you're into that... Uh, I mean, it's sadistic intent. You guys know that, that they absolutely kill it. Uh, it comes on this gray vinyl. It's got some black splatter. I'm not going to get it out of the sleeve and, and get it dirty and stuff. But um, it has this very campy, almost garagey style production on this. I mean, it's not the super easiest listen, but I, I love that kind of grimy, especially like old school death metal. I, I think it fits that that sound perfectly. Uh, this is really good for a bootleg live recording. I did enjoy this. It is on vinyl. You know, you guys know that's not my favorite format to pick up in the world, but I have picked up some vinyl, at, at, at least ordered some vinyl as of late. So you guys will be seeing that trickle in uh, in the near future as well. I also picked up three shirts. As I said, I picked up the uh, deceased. This is the uh, Supernatural, let me get it straight for you guys, Supernatural Addiction uh, cover. I love that cover. I don't know what it is about the artwork of the cover. I don't know why I can't hold this straight. I don't know why I love that artwork so much. I've loved it ever since I first picked up the album. I, I have a deceased shirt. This isn't my first one that I've, that I've gotten, but I, I did not have that album art on a shirt, and I really wanted to grab that one when I saw it, so I went ahead and picked that up. I don't know what it is about that artwork. For some reason, it's always just kind of pulled me in and grabbed me and um, drawn me in, so it's nice to have a shirt with that with that on there. Uh, I'm probably going to reopen up my, reactivate my Instagram. And uh, last year and the year before, I did the uh, March's Metal Month where I, I wore a new T-shirt every single day and, and highlighted a band or, or label or something. And I uh, did that in the stories there. I'm most likely going to uh, activate that that Instagram back up and, and get back on there and start showing off some shirts to you guys as well. If you know me at all, you know I love some typo negative. So I had to pick up the slow, deep, and hard. It's a little bit wrinkled. I have worn this one since I placed the order. <laughs> I love the back there. You have uh, slow, deep, and hard right above your buttocks. So everybody will be looking at you crazy, checking your ass out. Or if you're me, your lack of ass out and uh, seeing arrows pointing down saying slow, deep, and hard. So you're definitely going to get some people talking there. And then I picked up Nunslaughter with uh, the Angelic Dread uh, cover art. That just, is, that, I love that cover art as well. So this is another one that, it's got some back art on there. I have worn all three of these, so they are a little bit wrinkled currently, but as I said, I ordered those earlier in the in the month of, of February, so I've had it for a little bit. They've just kind of been sitting around uh, waiting for me to put them on this channel, so I just wore them and then set them to the side. I also picked up a stack of CDs. Uh, I did the 10 CDs, I think it's 10 CDs for $50 stack. And then I picked up some other CDs as well off the site. Uh, first up, they did throw in a freebie. It's the uh, Hell's Headbangers Compilation Volume 10. Uh, this came out in October of last year is the date on this. Some killer stuff on this, uh, bands that you guys all know, especially if you're familiar with uh, Hell's Headbangers at all. You got Perdition, Temple, Acid Witch, Nunslaughter. Uh, one of the, the standout tracks to me on this, that uh, it was a band that I had not heard before, and I was blown away by it. It was uh, track number 19 uh, by the band Hunter's Moon, entitled Drag Them to the Coffins. That was some killer black metal. Uh, that's a band that I'm definitely going to have to look into a little bit deeper after listening to this compilation. I, I've spun this in the car quite a few times, as, as I like to do with compilations, but that was a track on there that caught me off guard, a band that I hadn't heard already, and it was something that I really liked. Next up, I will show you guys the 10 CDs for 50 bucks stack that I picked up out of that. Uh, first up, a band that needs no introduction, uh, we've got Incantation. I don't know how well the the glare. I am recording in a different room. Uh, I'm not always going to be in here. Sometimes I will go back into the the regular recording room, but I figured I would mix it up a little bit. There is a giant, uh, I don't know if it's a bee or something, flying up above my head. So if you hear it rattling around, um, 
that's what that is. I hope it doesn't come down and sting me, but I, hey, I mean, that, that's one way to do the video. But the lighting is not a as good in here, but we're going we're gonna to kind of suffer through it. But uh, this is Incantation with Decimate Christendom. Uh, this is like a, I've, I was filling in some, some incantation holes in the, in the collection and I picked up a couple kind of mid 2000s era incantation. Uh, this for me, I, I know people are kind of reserved on their feelings on this album, but for me, it's kind of a must own. It is a very important album in the, um, in the discography and the history of incantation because this is the album where John took over on vocals. And I, I really like this. I, I do enjoy his vocals. The glare is not going to show the artwork. It's kind of dark artwork on this, but uh, it's kind of a must own for me personally, in my, in my opinion, as far as incantation albums go. And then I picked up the follow up to that entitled uh, Primordial Domination. Uh, this one, I think, is actually a step up uh, from Decimate Christendom. I, I do like both of these albums. I really can't think of an, an incantation album that I don't like, but uh, this one was definitely uh, a bit a bit higher up uh, as far as uh, my personal favorites on the list. So good stuff there from Incantation. I won't spend too much time showing each one of these because this video could go on forever if I do. Uh, I picked up the latest uh, Fluids compilation uh fluids of death 2 um how do you how do you describe fluids there i mean the, obviously there, there's a heavy mortician influence going on uh this is i guess it's kind of like brutal death metal slash uh death grind uh is the best way that i know to put it very down tuned at times very disturbing uh they 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 can they can kind of get you uh they, they they can kind of get under your skin a little bit. They they have some disturbing stuff on their on their material, but I do enjoy it. Uh, they they have a lot of this is a compilation of a lot of EP and split materials, and I was super happy to find that the uh, the split that they did with pharmacists, the fluids material from that split was on this because I did not have that split, and I really like their side of that split. As I was going through my uh, CD collection videos, which I plan on getting back into the swing of, I may not do one this Sunday. I will try, but as I said, I am going to a concert out of uh, going to traveling to Memphis to go to that concert this Sunday. But I will try to get through them. But um, where I was going with that, as I was doing those way back in the A's, I was kind of disappointed in myself because I only owned one Acid Witch album, and it's the uh, Evil Sound Screamers. Probably my favorite Acid Witch, but I, it was uh, the only one that I had in the collection. And they had uh, the others available on this, the other full links anyway, available on the 10, uh, 10 albums for 50 bucks. So I had to go on and fill in the holes from the uh, Acid Witch discography. I picked up their debut album, um, Witch Tannic Hallucinations. If you're not familiar, I, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're familiar with Acid Witch. They're kind of, uh, st I don't, all right, how are we going to describe this, man? Stoner, stoner death doom? Is that a thing? Like psychedelic death doom? Uh, I love these guys. Very Halloween themed type stuff. And, and it's just a ton of fun to listen to. I do like this debut album. This one can kind of rival Evil Sound Screamers as my favorite two Acid Witch releases. And then we have uh, Stoned. This one is probably uh, their weakest album as far as is as, 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 as my personal feelings. I still like the album, don't get me wrong. It's not a weak album by any means. It's just as far as their material, material goes, this is probably the one that I'm going to reach for the least to listen to. Maybe it's something that just has to grow on me a little bit more. I still like it, but uh, it's just I like some of their other stuff a little bit better. And then I picked up their newest album. Uh, this came out last year. Uh, this one was entitled Rot Among Us. This one came out, I think a lot of people got this one in Metalhead Box. And uh, I, I kind of missed out when I was taking a little break from everything towards the, the end of the year last year. And uh, I, I'm glad to be able to get this one and add it to the collection because this was a really strong album as well. This one was much better than I anticipated it being. So I, I was super pleased with this one. So... Uh, speaking of uh, bands and stuff that have been featured in Metalhead Box, next up we have Abho Mean. I probably, I know I, I just pronounced that wrong. I, I, I've heard the proper pronunciation before, but it, I've totally forgot it. Uh, this is featuring uh, Helm Camp, Peter Helm Camp, who's been in Angel Corpse. He's got a long resume of bands that uh, he's been affiliated with. 
one of the very first metalhead boxes that I ever received. It may have been the very first one that I ever received. I got an autographed picture from uh, Helm Camp in that in that uh, particular metalhead box. This is their newest full length entitled uh, Proselyte Paras Parasite Plague. I, I slept on this album. I, I hate to say that I did, but I, I just completely slept on this. I have the uh, Larvae, Larvae Offal Swine, I think is the the uh, debut full length. And I liked that one okay. Uh, it, just, it wasn't anything that just kind of blew me away. And I saw that this one was coming out, but it wasn't just like I must listen to. And, and now I'm kind of uh, kicking myself for waiting so long to to uh, check this one out because this is this is phenomenal. If you're into Angel Corpse, if you're into Black and Death Metal at all, and you haven't heard this, I definitely highly recommend checking this one out. It, it definitely uh, definitely fits the bill, as uh, some people would say, as far as just that that evil sounding stuff. Helm Camp, uh, his vocals on this are absolutely insane. Uh, next up, we have some Black and Thrash uh, kind of totes the line into death metal as well. Uh, this is the first full length from the band Crossfire. Uh, I believe this band is out of Spain. This one is entitled Rites of Extermination. They had an EP that came out in 20, 2017, I want to say, and I do own that one and I enjoyed it, but they kind of fell off my radar. And I think this came out like four years after that. So it came out, I think in 2021. And uh, this is phenomenal. I, I really like this. It, it definitely, uh, definitely uh, piqued my interest and, and kept me listening throughout the entirety of this album. Definitely a killer debut, uh, if nothing else. It, the, the sky's the limit for these guys because I, I really like I really like the soundscapes that they, they were able to produce on this. So I'm sorry about that glare. Um, I will probably do the next video back in the, the regular recording room, but sometimes you just miss having the, the mountain of CDs behind you. Uh, this one I almost missed out and putting it in this video because I was listening to it in the car earlier. And when you talk about evil sounding stuff, demonic sounding stuff, th this this is kind of one of those bands that just comes to mind for me. Thinking of that, they are able to capture those kind of demonic evil soundscapes and everything that they do. This is their newest full length, and man, it is the uh, the name of the album is Merciless Upheaval, and that's a perfect name for this album because it is absolutely merciless. This is the newest full length from Perdition Temple. Man, this is just some dark stuff. Just dark. I don't know how they do it. Despite having some lineup changes and stuff that have gone on, it's mainly been drummers, but there have been some additions and subtractions uh, on other instruments uh, along the way. But this, uh, wow, yeah. Uh, th this blew me away. And it's just, this is one of those things. It was playing in the car. And at one point while it was playing in the car, I kind of had the thought come across my mind is like, man, you know, I hope I don't have a wreck and die while I'm listening to this because with this stuff playing, there ain't no way I'm getting into heaven. So, I mean, that that's what you're listening to, but it, it it's good stuff. And then the last of the 10 for 50 bundle, I got the uh, 2021, I think it was full length from Nunslaughter. Uh, Nunslaughter is one of those death metal bands that has 10 million releases out there. If someone out there has every or close to every uh nun slaughter release then you are like a hero and an idol of mine because i mean that there there ain't no way there there's so much material of theirs to pick up and i enjoy just about all of it that i've heard um red is the color of ripping death what can i say about this release except it is absolutely relentless this will pummel you i wish the the glare wasn't so bad that I could show off this artwork because I really like, I mean, that talking about dark and, and, and evil looking stuff, that artwork definitely is. The, the glare is not going to let me show that, but hopefully um, you will look up and, and kind of see it for yourself. It comes on this red disc, which I thought was uh, very fitting for the, the album name there. And I, I did like this. It's just a, a pummeling, relentless uh, ride the whole way through. So as is most of their material. And then I picked up a stack of stuff that wasn't on the on the uh, 10 for 10 for $50 or whatever. I, 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 let me let me take a swig of water. I really hope the volume and everything is right on this because I'm 20 minutes in and I'd hate to have to go back and re-record this. Um, 
As far as stuff that I picked up that wasn't on that sale, uh, I picked up another Nunslaughter release. This one also is the one that I picked the shirt up for, the Angelic Dread. Uh, this was originally released, I think, in 2014. This is It, it came out through Hell's Headbangers, but I, I'm sure it's long sold out um, as far as their their copies go. But this was uh, reissued through uh, Fatalism Musicness in, in 2021. Uh, it's an Indonesian label, and I'm sure part of the the kind of deal for the right to, of getting to repress this was hell's getting um some copies to move themselves a classic release this is kind of a, a must own i think uh nun slaughter release and i'm glad to have that one in the collection now just chaotic pummeling death metal uh next up we have a band out of sweden uh this is a band that i've really started to to get into uh this is Sentinex with doomsday rituals i i I think they have one other full length that's come out after this, but uh, this is the, as far as like the, the latter era, I would even say like mid 2000s to now era Sentinex goes, this is probably their best material as far as I'm concerned. Their newest album was really strong as well, but I really like this one. Killer Band out of, out of Sweden, as I said. Uh, this really takes me back to some of that like late 90s, uh, early early 2000 Cincinnati X material and, and I absolutely love this release so I was glad to get that one in the collection now as well uh, I, was, I was happy to see this one in their in their web shop as well um, when this album came out Pete the guttural monk he was super into this and, and he he told me I needed to pick it up and I went to go grab it and CDs were sold out so I had to get a tape I was kind of sour that I had to have it on on tape format but that's all that I could find uh, it really kind of soured me on the album altogether. I didn't enjoy it as much as I probably should have just because I wanted a CD and I could not find one that wasn't being listed for an astronomical price. Well, lo and behold, I'm sure it got more pressings or whatever. And I just kind of gave up looking and I saw it on there. So I went ahead and grabbed it and, and I'm glad I did. Uh, this is Stargazer with their, I think this came out in 2021, full length entitled Psychic, Psychic Secretions. Uh, this is just some nasty death metal. Um, I, I hate using that term. Avant-garde, kind of blackened death metal. Uh, very original uh, sounding stuff. If you're, if you're familiar with Stargazer, you kind of, I guess you kind of have to be familiar with this band to know uh, what I'm kind of getting at there with that. And they've got a sound that, that's hard to explain. It's hard to compare them to other bands because they have a very original sound going on. And I think that's one of the things that makes them so great because they're not emulating or copying anyone else. They're able to pull off these sounds that are absolutely they're completely their own and I, I really like this one i'm glad to have it on a cd format and into the collection now uh next up a fairly new release this was released on 20 bucks spin um i say a fairly new release it is a a compilation of uh 90s death metal it's a band uh some old school death metal uh and and 20 bucks spin kind of i guess got the rights and put the uh it's kind of some 90s i think one came out in 90 two or 94 and then the other one was around 97 uh the two demos and and they combined them and put them on this on this uh compilation this is embalm with prelude to obscurity killer stuff I, I really like this i'm glad to go on and pick it up i've been eyeballing it on um 20 bucks spin for a minute i saw it on hell's headbangers as well it was about the same price point and i figured i'm already dropping this ton of money on this order so i might as well just go on and grab this now and i'm glad i did uh speaking of 90s death metal there's been like a ton of people um talking about it there's been uh like the thread videos going on that i let's, let's talk about metal mickey uh it's very fitting for for um for a hell's headbangers video i think he started the thread of uh like 90s death metal that you would show um, aliens and I've, I've been kind of enjoying watching some of those and I've, I was been on a before that even came out I thought it was fitting because I've kind of been on a 90s death metal kick picking up some stuff that uh, has long been forgotten and I will show that in a video at some point this this month as well and then the last three things that I picked up were like on the clearance uh, section I just did three little blind buys it was stuff that I wasn't familiar with at all but I figured I think they were like three dollars or less on the clearance section we got somebody driving by with their music blasting, so I'm going to take one more drink of water. 
and then we'll get into it. And I, I did blind buys on all three of these, and I actually liked all three, so it definitely worked out. Uh, first up, we have some more old school death metal. Uh, this is a band out of Germany. This is Lifeless with uh, Beyond the Threshold of Death. This was completely new to me when I picked it up. My only gripe about this one is it had the little security uh, sticker, whatever that, that thing is that uh, used to be on CDs all the time. They You never see them on them anymore, but it left the residue on the jewel case. And it, it's unfortunate because this is like a pristine jewel case, so I don't want to change it out. But uh, some killer old school death metal out of Germany. This came out, I think, in 2008. Uh, this pressing came out in 2010, but I think the full length was originally released in 2008. It is the band's debut. I think they have three full lengths out now. This is the only one that I've heard so far, but I did like it for what it was. Just just some uh, really solid old school death going on there. Has that uh, that very Swedish, despite it being a German band, they, they have a lot of uh, Swedish sounding stuff going on on that. Uh, next up. This is another one that's going to be, uh, I mean, it's going to be fun trying to describe their sound. Uh, we have Scum Ripper with uh, All Veins Blazing. This is their debut full length. Um, came, I'm wanting to say it came out in, in either, I've got 2019 and 2021 in the head. I, one of the two, I'm thinking 2019. Uh, this is a band out of Finland. They are a mix of black metal, thrash metal, punk and it, like they even have this sound uh i want to say death metal but it's like an early early death metal sound kind of that that thrash bleeding over into death metal uh kind of morphing into death metal sound that, that early death sound it's very interesting it's very chaotic but it, it was a very fun listen i did like scum ripper quite a bit you kind of get that sleazy um vibe going on with a lot of this stuff and, and that's something that i enjoy as well so, uh, good stuff there from, from uh, Scum Ripper. And then the last one I picked up is another band out of Finland. And this is some more Blackened Thrash. Uh, has some death. Uh, kind of has that Blackened, kind of a Black Thrash death metal hybrid. Uh, this is Sadakist with uh, Necro Dual Dimension Funeral Storms 2019 Full Length. Maybe this one came out in 2021 in this one. Because this one's showing 2019. Uh, this was released through Hell's Headbangers. And I really like this one. Um, I don't know why it didn't kind of get the uh, attention that, that it probably deserves. Because this is solid. Definitely solid. If you're into Black and Thrash, uh, definitely, I, I definitely uh, suggest checking this one out. Because I really liked everything that I've heard on it. I've only listened to it once. But it is definitely something that I'd like to go back and spend some more time with. Because it is definitely worthy of of that i'm going to try my best to list everything and if i can uh link up everything in the description that i showed some of this stuff there's no way that, that there will be any types of links especially like the bootleg vinyl at least for the cds i will list them all in the description hopefully in the order that i showed and uh that way if you saw something that you liked or something that piqued your interest and you want to check it out you can go do that i'm looking forward to the month i hope you guys are too I, i'm i'm glad to be back i'm glad to be in a better place and uh, i'm glad to share some stuff that i've been listening to and uh do this 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 month-long walk with you guys and show you guys everything that i have planned that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful March's Metal Month, and I will see you guys very soon, I promise.